It is necessary, for example, first of all, to remember this is going to be under what is called Chapter 7 of the United Nations Charter, which means force can be used. It is necessary, if you're sending out military, that they should be properly equipped, not just to protect themselves, but to carry out the responsibilities required. Now, it's going to be a fine line, uh, because you cannot, in, a, in advance, uh, in anticipate every single circumstance that will arise. But what we are seeking to do uh, is to ensure that food and shelter and medical aid gets to those who need it. Can you tell us what uh, Clearly, we want to have a very defined time, limited mandate that would deal with humanitarian issues, uh, provide a secure environment for the aid agencies to deliver their programs, and to uh, facilitate the uh, voluntary repatriation of refugees. Uh, we think that that can be done in a, in a reasonably short period of time. They must be uh, of Chapter 7 rules that would uh, allow any force to uh, be able to present a, a strong, robust rules of engagement against any attempt to uh, intimidate. Um, that would be certainly part of the resolution, and that, uh, it also means that it provides uh, for good security for the forces there. Does that mean shooting back? Is it, what, what does it well, mean? I mean, those are really military decisions on the field as to how they would use it. So the job of the political diplomatic side is to make sure they've got the authority to do that, as well as, I think, to see if we can establish some form of uh, political reference group that they can uh, consult with uh, that would bring together uh, groups of the different countries that are involved so that we can constantly review and assess the developments.